Cardiff coach Phil Davies called for his team to back up their marvellous Heineken Cup win against Toulon with a similar performance away to Ulster at Raven Hill. Blues hadn't won in Belfast in three years. Club captain Matthew Rees was an absentee, having undergone an operation for testicular cancer this week. The home side came into the game in fine form, five wins in a row in all competitions and full of confidence. Stuart Olding started at full-back for the first time, with Jared Payne moving to the centre. Callum Black started at loose head. At a packed Raven Hill, it was Ulster who put the first points on the board. Paddy Jackson with an eight-minute penalty. Lee Halpenny replied with a Blues penalty on 11 minutes to leave it three all. Then on the quarter-hour mark, a breakthrough for the men in white. And Dan Tui was the unlikely man on the left wing to run over the line for Ulster's first try of the night to the delight of the home faithful. The Blues defence was totally stretched and Tui did well in his audition for the part of a left winger in the Ulster team. Jackson's conversion was off target but Ulster had their noses in front 8-3. Mark Anscombe's side were playing Five. like a team brimming with confidence Seven. and in the 23rd minute they extended yes, their lead, catching Blues out with some quick thinking. When they were awarded a penalty in a very kickable position, everyone expected Jackson to step up. But Ruin Pienaar had other ideas. He tapped and spread the ball to Tommy Bow, who did very well to fling it wide to the onrushing Jared Payne. Cardiff caught cold and Ulster with a second try of the game. Great work from Pienaar and Payne with his first try of the campaign. Jackson missed the conversion, but Ulster led 13-3. Jackson landed another penalty in the 28th minute to make it 16-3, but in the 34th minute, Blues struck back. After his man-of-the-match performance against Toulon last week, Robin Copeland used his strength and speed to evade the defenders and get over for the visitors' first try of the night. Copeland becoming a fan's favourite at the Arms Park, and here is the reason why. Halfpenny missed the conversion, but Blues were back in the game at 16-8. And when Halfpenny kicked a penalty two minutes before the break, he reduced the deficit further, 16-11 in favour of Ulster at half-time. The home side started the second half like a steam train, and as they motored towards the Cardiff line to mix my metaphors, they scored an excellent try. Luke Marshall and Olden combined before Marshall slid over for the try. The TMO confirming that the try was good. Jackson was off the mark with the conversion, but Ulster led 21-11. Blue's cause wasn't helped when Copeland was sent to the bin in the 45th minute. It seemed that everyone in the stadium saw the Dubliner using his hands on the ground. The bad news for the big number eight was that the referee did too, and it was 10 minutes in the bin for the Cardiff try score. Use the hands on the ground. He's professional. Jackson added a further penalty to put Ulster 24-11 ahead, but the visitors struck again in the 51st minute, and it was a tremendous score from winger Richard Smith. Quick passing in the build-up, a weak tackle by Olding, allowing the 6'3 winger from Neath to get over the line for a fine try. Time off. Ulster might be disappointed with how they defended this one, but take nothing away from Blues, who worked a good opening for the winger. Halpenny converted and it was 24-18. An excellent try followed by an excellent kick. <laughs> Blues got to within a converted try of victory in the 57th minute when Halpenny put another penalty over, 27-21. But it was the home side who then took control. In 67 minutes, Andrew Trimble blasted over in the corner for a try and a bonus point win for Ulster. 32-21, the crowd at Raven Hill getting to see some top-class scores from both sides. Into injury time, Ulster added further gloss to the scoreline with another two-he try. Blues turned the ball over near their own line and Ulster punished them. The Welsh cover struggled to get across to cut out the danger and when Payne fed the ball to the left wing, inevitably it was that big number five who was there to collect. 
A second try of the night for Tuhi and a fifth for Ulster. Rue and Pienaar converted with the last kick of the match for a 39-21 victory. So Ulster's fine run of form continues and already they look like they'll be right in the thick of things come season's end. Blues will be looking to get back to their winning ways at home to Treviso next week. Final score at Ravenhill, Ulster 39, Cardiff Blues 21.